Like a lot of times people think that Christmas is the, the biggest time in the Christian year, but it's not. The biggest time of the Christian year is Easter, where we celebrate the death and resurrection of Jesus. We're celebrating the resurrection of Jesus, our Lord and Savior. So that is actually the pinnacle of our Christian year. The period of Lent is really about dying to our old self and rising with Christ at Easter. So the Triduum starts on Holy Thursday and it's the Mass of the Lord's Supper and it continues on and we're still praying after that and then we go into um, Jesus' death on Good Friday where we celebrate that um, part of the liturgy. And then the next part of the liturgic after that celebration on Good Friday, whether it's usually um, veneration of the cross, in some places they allow you to receive the Eucharist, but that there's no mass because uh, Jesus has died, so there's no mass. We're not celebrating resurrection yet. And then um, we go into everything is prayerful and quiet up until till the Easter Vigil on Saturday. There's, there's nothing until the Easter Vigil on Saturday. And that is where we celebrate the Lord's resurrection. And we invite all these people to celebrate the Lord's resurrection with us. We recall our baptism and we invite those who are not baptized to be baptized. And we celebrate the resurrection of our Lord. And then the, actually the Triduum doesn't really end until the end of Easter Sunday. So you could go to the Easter Vigil. As a matter of fact, a lot of people who are coming into the church will go to the Easter Vigil, become members, and then come again on Sunday at the Easter Mass for Sunday. And those people who are entering into the church with us, they are doing it for the first time, and it's so exciting. They are so um, thrilled, and we should be thrilled with them. You know, that's the, the piece that I think we um, forget, as that those of us who have been Catholic all of our lives, or most of our lives, we forget that there's people excited to be part of us, and that we should be all the time, when we know who they are, we should be inviting them and encouraging them and be with them during the whole time that they're through, going through the RCIA process, not just this short time um, during Lent. So it's kind of, um, it's a very joyful time, especially for those who are entering into it for the first time, but it also should be very joyful and exciting for all of us who are who do it and renew ourselves every year check check check